a few years ago, I started the Trump effect, where you showed all sort of really racist and other types of behavior that could that that got bold, and the boldness came from uh, from Dr. Trump, from President Trump, just letting it go. And you know, if the president can say these things, eh, everybody can as well. Well, there's another kind of effect I think is coming to play here. And I'm going to start calling it the Liz Cheney effect. And the Liz Cheney effect is saying, I am going to go along with Democrats, progressive Democrats if necessary, so that we can beat the ultimate evil in this country, the those who are trying to take us on the path to fascism. And you know what? Uh, I think... Uh, Shapiro, the guy who's running for governor in uh, Pennsylvania, he is the person who is going to benefit from it most. So check this out. Today, that a large group of Republican leaders has thrown its support behind the Democratic nominee for governor, that's State Attorney General Josh Shapiro, instead of the Republican nominee, that would be State Senator Doug Mastriano. Nine Republicans has said Mastriano, who has long been a supporter of the disgraced twice impeached ex-president and his false claims of voter fraud in the 2020 election, is an extreme candidate who would put our democracy at stake. Mastriano's ties to the fringe of the extreme wing of the GOP were only highlighted this past weekend when his supporters were seen holding a three percenters flag during an Independence Day parade. The three percenters are a right wing militia that has been identified by the Southern Poverty Law Center as an extremist group. The group also played a part in the January 6th attack on the United States Capitol. Joining us now, Pennsylvania Attorney General and Democratic nominee for governor, Josh Shapiro. Hello there, um, my friend. It's nice to see you. There's been so much happening and we wanted to get back to the campaign trail and this seemed like a perfect day. You've got nine. Let me put up the names. These are these are real Republicans. Um, Charlie Dent, Jim Greenwood, former state house Speaker Denny O'Brien, former Lieutenant Governor, longtime State Senator Robert uh, Robert Jubilier, and former State Supreme Court Justice Sandra Schultz Newman. Tell us about how you got all these endorsements and how you got them today. You know, I've been talking to Democrats, Republicans, and independents all across Pennsylvania. And I think it's important to note that these prominent officials represent all corners of our Commonwealth. It includes the first woman Supreme Court justice. It includes, as you said, people who are longtime servants of the Republican Party. It also includes the head of the county commissioners from one of the most conservative counties in Pennsylvania who currently serves. And they've all come together largely for two reasons. Number one, um, they fear the, the dangerous extremism of my opponent. And number two, they know I'm a guy with a long track record of bringing people together to actually get things done, which is what people want now more than ever. They want folks to get things done, make their lives a little bit better, and they trust I'll be able to do that. Look, my, my opponent has said his number one priority, his words, not mine, is banning all abortions with no exceptions and criminalizing doctors. He's not talking about... You you know, cutting costs or improving education or public safety or growing the economy. And these Republican leaders trust me to do that work and bring people together. It is really outside the mainstream. I mean, a ban on all abortions and a ban on, uh, does he oppose um, exceptions for rape and incest and in life of the mother? He says his words, not mine. He leaves no way for exceptions, not for rape or incest or to protect the life or health of the woman. And Nicole, this isn't some theoretical exercise or some political witness test. This is now a reality in Pennsylvania because we know with this legislature, they will continue to put bills on the desk of the governor and the next governor to ban all abortions. My opponent will sign it. He said it's his number one priority. I will veto any bill that undermines minds a woman's right to choose here in Pennsylvania. So uh, we see that it is obvious that we do, in fact, has an issue that can galvanize not only Democrats, but Republicans alike. Because, again, these are human issues, not solely values of a particular sect issues. So. Uh, the Liz Cheney effect 
is in full effect and we expect it to continue not only in the Shapiro race, but in several other races where Democrats are getting support from uh, mainstream Republicans to prevent to prevent the path, the, tr the, the walk towards fascism. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join.